the last video, we built in the Cooler Master NR200 using an RTX 3070, a Ryzen 5 3600, and a Thermal Right PLS Assassin 120 to keep it cool. This thing is an absolute bargain for what you get, and it made me think, what would happen if I put Noctuas on it? These fans cost around £30 each, which means that just one of these costs the same as the Thermal Right heatsink and both of the fans. So why are they so expensive? These fans are the result of four and a half years of research and development, giving you a fan that moves a lot of air with very little noise. Not to have managed to pull this off by creating their own specialized plastic compound known as Sterox, which is a pretty cool name if you ask me. Now for this test, I removed the case fans just so the noise wouldn't interfere. So all we have left are the three GPU fans, the PSU fan, and then the two CPU cooler fans. I've also gone into the BIOS and set up a custom fan curve to try and make it as quiet as possible. So turn up your volume and let's see how they do. So as you can see from the test, putting Noctuas on your CPU cooler does not magically make it run colder. And even though the numbers are very similar, the profile of the sound is completely different. Like with the Noctua, there's no motor noise at all. You can't hear any whining. All you can hear is the air moving, which is a lot more pleasant. So should you do this? If you're trying to make your PC run colder, no. If you're trying to make your PC run quieter, then yes. If you want to pick up either the fans or the CPU cooler, I'll leave links in the description. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.